Okay, so here is a clip of my recent-ish personal best green job fish from off Brisbane. We were very lucky on this day because there was a horrible thermocline. So the top 25 meters of water was mud, it was filthy. But then once you popped out under about 27, everything cleared up. There was probably 30 meters crystal clean vis underneath. So this was an advantage because the fish couldn't really see me on the drop, so they didn't spook as much as they often would. And then when I got down, I could see them coming. Made it a little bit tricky to hide, but because they hadn't swum too far away, you didn't have to wait nearly as long as you usually would for them to gain their confidence and come back. After what felt like an eternity, I can assure you, the fish started to come back to where I could see them. I only had my old 1100 Omo with twin 14, so I needed the fish to be very close before I could even consider taking a shot. Luckily, this solid specimen came in and turned just within range, so I thought I'd give it a crack, because half the time, as soon as they turn, they start to swim away, and that's the last chance you get on the fish. And now comes the fun part. Unfortunately, this particular reef is renowned to be very sharky. So once you shoot the fish, you have to somehow get it up. So with these bigger fish, you have to pull really hard while swimming that 30 meters plus back to the surface through the yummy, yummy soup and hope that it doesn't get eaten. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. On this day, I was incredibly lucky. And in a little bit, once I get the fish up, you'll see why. Now I'm sure that you can tell from how heavily I'm breathing that I'm not getting old and unfit, but it's, it's not the case. It's because when you're swimming up with these fish, you can't let them run. There's too much to tangle on the bottom, and as I said, the sharks. So swimming up, I'm still fighting this fish the whole way. You only let out as much line as you physically have to in order to get to the top and not drown. Of course, the amount of cake that I eat in relation to the amount of exercise that I do probably didn't help. But it's mostly from fighting the fish, I swear. And here the fish comes into view. Now if you look closely, you'll see why I said I was very lucky. The flopper has opened on the inside of the skin on the same side of the fish that I shot it. My spear didn't even completely penetrate this fish. Not only that, it didn't manage to get eaten or snagged on the bottom. I'm very, very thankful though, even though I know I shouldn't have landed this fish because I've been chasing a fish over 10 kilograms off Brisbane for a very long time. And this one managed to break the 13 kilo mark. So I was incredibly happy with this fish. As you may be able to tell from all the happiness and laughter good times. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching. I know I enjoyed shooting this fish and I enjoy watching this footage just so I can see how lucky I am to have even landed this fish. But it's days like this that keep you going out there on the many, 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 many days where you go out and everything goes horribly wrong. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.